Charles Chevalier is the newly introduced player from the PXG team, as we've seen from the spoilers. Let's see what we can already take away from that brief introduction and what that means for the Bastard Munchen versus PXG match. I personally think that Charles' his strengths lie in his ability to pass. As we could see, his pass to Shidu was pretty good, and he practically did it in between two FC Barcha players as well, mind you. This makes it more compelling for me to think that he's a very important midfielder of the PXG lineup. I'd look at him as something similar to Itoshi Sei, for instance. As we know, one of his major strengths is his ability to pass, as we've seen in the U20 match. However, what's most interesting about this is the fact that they're both serving the same person. You see, not just anyone can control Shidu, as we have seen from the way the story was progressing back when he was relevant. So the fact that he can link up with Shido as casually as that rings alarm bells, because there just aren't many players capable of doing such a thing. Now, if he's a next generation 11 is another story, but one thing is for certain. He's a very capable individual. What this would mean for the story going forward is this weird dynamic that Bastard Munchen has to go up against. Noel Noah needs to basically invent multiple strategies or maybe multiple lineups to prevent dynamic shifts when Loki starts abusing the infinite substitution system, because Loki clearly has more than enough capable players to be shuffling around with, which could raise PXG's odds of success by a heavy amount. And the two hearts of this system are going to be that guy we've seen play with Rin on the footage in their match against Ubers and Charles. They're going to be playmakers much like a Luke Bellingham, for example. Although Isagi could be put into that category as well, just because he has MetaVision. The other two will probably have MetaVision as well, and how I could see them be a bigger threat is the fact that they might have more advanced versions of MetaVision. There has to be a reason that their character designs are so unique, and there also has to be a reason for the author to put such heavy emphasis on the players I've mentioned. Or maybe they have different eyes than what we have seen so far far, which exceeds MetaVision entirely. Another thing to note is that the chemistry between the PXG players is very high if you count out Shidu and Rin. This is a lot different from the dog-eats-dog -dog situation that Bastard Muchin is in, which also creates groups among the players and puts them more in isolation. This is why I think that Bastard Munchin has way more potential in and of itself, let alone the fact that they are still going to train and level up in the 20 days they have right now. This chemistry is going to allow midfielders like Charles to expand their options enormously enormously and be more in control of the players as they'd put their trust in him. All the way from Karasu's sliding to Zantetsu's dash, followed up by Charles, his pass. This team is no joke, and aside from assisting Shidu, we should not forget his really nice cross to Rin which made him score a goal as well. The reason I've mostly been talking about his chemical reaction with Shidu is just because it's just rare to see someone linking up with him. If you like Rin as much as I do, you might want to check out this cool-looking mini-action figure. It's the first link in the description. But if not, watch this video next, Egoists. I'm out. Peace.